Hey, it's Dr. D Flo, and today we're going to continue the theme of LEDs and clocks with the LED word clock. This is an interesting way to display the time in five minute increments. This isn't a new idea, but I like to think that my design is the classiest. We have a anodized aluminum front backed by a white plastic. It provides great contrast. I'd like to thank Jeff and Elise who helped every step of the way of this project. Don't forget to subscribe. We have our awesome six axis robotic hand video coming out soon. As per usual, all the files and supplies are available on my website. I've also uploaded a couple other tips that I may not get to in this video. On the table in front of me, we have all the materials that we need. We have the anodized front plate, the HDPE back plate, the copper PCB, the light diffuser. Of course, we have the adjustable LEDs, the microcontroller, and the clock module. First, we will carve the letter matrix into the aluminum. It's important to use a sharp single flute bit and WD-40 to keep the carve cool and to keep the chips down. Next, we need to cut the holes out of the plastic. I'm gonna to refer to these as the light cells. These are gonna make sure that each LED only lights up one letter. Please note that some of the letters on the matrix are extra and won't actually light up. So we won't cut those out of the plastic. Now that we've cut out the light cells, we need to cut one more layer down so that we can inset the copper PCB so it's flush when we put the LED matrix in. So let's talk a little bit about the addressable LEDs. I'm gonna give you guys a quick crash course on what you need to know for this project, but I have an entire overview video which I will link in the description. The first thing you should know is that these guys are tiny. The next thing you should know is that they have four pins. You have a data in, a data out, a five volt, and a ground, each addressable LED. So if you have two addressable LEDs, you wanna put the five volt and ground for each LED in parallel and then you want to connect the data out of the first LED to the data in of the second LED. Our project needs 93 addressable LEDs, so it doesn't make sense to wire all these by hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a circuit board. We will create this circuit board through engraving traces into this thin film copper. And this will greatly reduce wire management. In fact, we won't have any wires at all. I used a 1 over 32 inch bit to engrave the traces. 
However, all of my mistakes here are from that bit running into a high spot into the board and breaking. This can be solved by making sure the PCB again is very level. Next, we're going to talk about some of the basic connections. So we need to power the microcontroller. And to do that, we are going to take a micro USB breakout and take the five volts and ground from that and go to the BAT plus and ground respectively. To power the clock module, we're going to send A3 to VN, A2 to ground. To send and receive data from the clock module, we're going to send A4 to SDA and A5 to SCL. the addressable LED matrix, we need to give it 5 volts and ground from the USB micro breakout. We also need to give it data, which is going to be pin 6 from the microcontroller. However, we need to make sure that the matrix and the microcontroller share the same ground. So go ahead and connect a ground from the matrix to the microcontroller. Subscribe for more Dr. D-Flow.